Uh, this is a bit of a quick random video really. I've just been buying stuff off eBay again. I bought this, it's made by Samsung. It's spinny. It's one of those document scanner things that if you work in education, we once all the rage. The idea was you could put something underneath it, you could demonstrate it, could be projected on a whiteboard and people could watch it. I got the idea from one of the Discord servers I'm on where someone else had bought one and it seemed like quite a useful idea. So I'm going to have a play with it and I may as well record what I'm doing whilst I'm doing it because then I can see what it's like. I think it's a bit bigger than what I was expecting. So yeah. Anyway, let's get in it. This looks really bad, doesn't it? You know, let's chop it open. Right, let's look around this thing. I've not switched it on, I have no idea if it works. Makes a curious rattling noise. I hope that's nothing important. But, I wanna see if it works. So, what have we got? It's, it's got some curious inputs on it. If you can see them, it's got VGA, which doesn't bode too well, but never mind. So DVI, hoping that's decent. 12 volt, USB, RS-232. And then it has an SD card slot. Okay, and it's got an asset tag on it from some company. So let's plug it in, see what it does. I'll probably need a monitor as well. Got another cattle lead to add to the collection. Power. Oh. Got a blue light on it. Right, I need some wires and stuff. I need to hook it up to a screen. Right, I've got it plugged in. It appears to work. Look at that. Uh, I've also noticed that the image or the way round I've got it is upside down, I guess. So that's going to confuse me quite a lot. I need to sort that out. To do that. Ah! Table's not big enough, never mind. Stand it up a bit further. No, it's supposed to go that far, and you can't see anything now. Well, that's no use to anybody, is it? Right, that image is squashed in some odd way. It's like stretched. Now, the manual did say something like this. Let's even figure out what's that do. Okay, we have a light. Uh, okay. I guess light on is better than light off. There's a menu button. Got mode, I guess that'll just switch it between the different things. Autofocus. Do you autofocus? I guess you don't focus that far. Auto white balance. This button. Ah, right, so it's got menu on it. DVO, VJ output, what we got? SXGA, UXGA, XGA. 1080p window cutout. Um, does that look better? I need something with squares on it. Right, are they square? Yeah, so that's squished. That's no good. 1080p chopped is better. What's the... What is it? SXGA. Let's have a look at that. Oh, right, we're on SXGA at the moment. It just looks... No. I think 1080p... Okay, what's 1080p stretched? No. 1080p window cutout, this is the one. 
Yes, I want to keep those settings. Those settings look fine. Oh, we've got some text. Text is a little bit out of focus. How do we focus it? Is it that button? It's not as focused, but then... That looks like a... <laughs> Spelling mistake. Dilt. That looks like a camera issues rather than anything else. Let's have a look. Hello. Six times zoom, right, how do we do the zoom? I wanna zoom. These things. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, that looks good. I like that. that there. That's nice. Yeah, that's definitely quite crisp. It's not too blurry. There isn't a weird lag between me moving my hand and it. Right, okay. That's cool. What do these buttons do? Brightness of what? The light? Is that image brightness? No, it must be image brightness because the light's still on. That looks alright. Shut up, phone. I'm not interested. Right, I'm not interested in any of the capture options. I literally just want it to do this. Oh, it's a digital zoom. Although the digital zoom doesn't look awful. You know, that looks a bit meh. But still. So that's full optical zoom. Right, let's let's get some things in. Look at my fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Put a few other items under it. Got these little things. These are for a future video. in a different coloured background. Alright, I guess to anything zoomed in that far. Oh, that's blown out in it. Where's the white balance gone? Right, we're on we're all happy with what we think black is and white is. You know, we blow it out every time. Bottom. Yeah. Right, so it doesn't okay. It assumes you've got a white background. So white background it is. That's not bad. Hmm. Quite small objects. What else have we got? How does it cope with a mucky chopping board? Yeah, should I put it slightly off just to annoy everybody? Yeah, it definitely prefers having a white background. I guess it's made for looking at paper. It's not really designed for what I'm using it for. It is a document viewer. Mm, circuitry. Right, so I've got all that if I want to zoom in. Yeah, so the idea is I'm swapping that for that. I like that there's nothing on the screen. There's no, like, text or text here. When I zoom in and out, this stuff, it appears, which is fine. I don't care. But then it goes away. Hmm. Very nice. And my capture device seems to like it. Let's try it with a few other things. What have we got? We've got some. Right, can we get a whole sheet of A4 in it? Right, there's a. Let's see if we can fiddle with the lighting. That's even better. Now we just have this big splurge from that, but. Now we're really grainy, but I guess it's made for this type of thing. Right, we'll turn the light back on. Right, well that's laminated, so it's going to be shiny. How do I adjust the exposure? 
Is it the brightness? If I just screwed it up by having the brightness on full. 70 feels like a number. So now it's a bit too dark in here. Now let's test it with a, a picture. There's a picture. Zoom in. Nope, that's brightness. Let's zoom in. Come on, it's not that blurry in real life. There we go. Yeah, no, that's quite cool. I like that. Need to work out how to shut up. Right, I think it needs playing with to figure it out a bit more, but that seems quite good. I like that. I may should prattle on for 13 minutes. So there it is. Document scanner thing seems to work quite well. Quite like the output. It's got a nice, decent image. Copes well with wonky lighting that I've got plenty of. I was a bit concerned the refresh rate would be rubbish and that things would sort of lag behind me moving it. It's not designed for soldering with or anything like that, but if I want to show something, so, you know, I have an object like this, poor thing. Instead of trying to hold it in front of this camera with the camera somehow balanced above my table, I can stick it under that and it's all nice and nothing moves and it's all in focus. Also, I can get to it. I don't really like that bit where you watch a video and the person in it is saying, oh, I just can't do this quite as like I want to because my camera tripod's in the way. All this stuff is to help make videos. It's not to get in the way. So if I can have a tripod thing that I can control and it does, well, it's got DVI, but then it works on HDMI, so my PC's capture thing quite likes it. I was wondering if it'd sync with that, but it works fine. Um, yeah, that'll do. Subscribe and crap. Thank you.